Okay, Dan, well, here we are on the eve of the World Cup final. Yes. Have you enjoyed the World Cup so far? Yes, very so. Best very. game? Best game, um, probably England-France. England-France, I, I thought that was a good game, to be fair. I thought England slightly shaded it as a team, but France are a little bit more clinical up front, which is why they are now in the final with Argentina. They are the world champions, though, so you have to... Well, it would be amazing if game. France won back-to-back -back trophies. I mean, to win back-to-back -back World Cups is so rare. And I think this France squad is absolutely amazing when you consider the players that are injured they haven't played, played in the tournament at all. Um, Benzema, for example, hasn't been in the tournament at all. Possibly the best striker in the world. Um, you've had guys like Kante and Pogba not even there, and yet their squad is still so full. They're able to get all the way to the final at a canter, pretty much. What do you think about Argentina? Do you like them as a team? They're very good. I didn't like Messi before, but I think he's very good. You didn't like Messi. I support Ronaldo, but Messi, Messi's well. Let me just let me just arguably the best. Let me just sort that issue out right away. No doubt, Ronaldo is a top player and a phenomenal goal scorer. But Messi is the better footballer by a mile, because Messi scores almost the same number of goals as Ronaldo. Um, probably not in the biggest games. But his um, ability to dribble, his skill, his I mean, his passing and as well has been phenomenal. And he still has a club to play for. He still has, yes, well, Ronaldo's pretty much finished. But then Ronaldo's a couple of years older, you can, you can give him that. But Messi's assist record is just astonishing. He's just the more complete footballer. And Most Ronaldo's a phenomenal goal scorer, but if it's, a, if it's between those two, Messi wins it every time. Anyway, the big question for tomorrow is not Messi, Ronaldo, but Messi, Mbappe. Who do you like between those two? Well, present is Messi and future is Mbappe. Yeah, well, Mbappe's some people would 22? say. Um, maybe older than that. I'd have to check what age he is. I mean, Messi's 34, 35. Um, mind you, the way he screened Guardiol in the last game against Croatia was just incredible. A 20 year old defender who's worth about 100 million, and yet Messi made him look like a school kid in the backyard. So Messi's playing brilliant football, so is Mbappe. Um, Mbappe wasn't quite as good against England as I thought he might have been but um, but earlier on in the tournament phenomenal Messi has a lot more to lose this is his last World Cup that's the big th and I think that's why Argentina have the popular support people know this is Messi's last World Cup it would be unfair for possibly the greatest brother of all time to finish his career without a World Cup win but that's the way it goes I still think France is the better team who, who do you think are the better team I mean who, who are France your favourites completely the better team best goalkeeper in the world best left winger what, sorry, 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 sorry. You said France have the best goalkeeper in the world. One of the, yeah. Hugo Lloris. Yes. The Tottenham goalkeeper is the best goalkeeper in the world. Well, better than Kepa. Everybody's allowed their opinion. Well, most people are better than Kepa, but yeah. okay. So you think he's the best goalkeeper in the world? He's certainly. I mean, he's captain. He's won over a hundred caps, so he's a good player. Whether he's best in the world is another thing. But um, most players who play international and club, they're better for their they're better for their national team than the club. That's all. Like true. Pickford. For it's, example, well, yes, Pickford's been decent for England, but um, so you think France are the better team? Who do you want to win? I want France to win. I don't. You want, want France to win because it would be hilarious if Messi loses and then he doesn't get to another. It would be cup. hilarious if he loses. So you really don't want Messi, the kind of the, He's won the too dream many trophies. story. He's won too many things. He's won too many things. That's because he, he's great. Yes, but he shouldn't have won his last Ballon d'Or. But that. I think the big issue for a lot of people is he's never won anything huge for Argentina. He's never won a World Cup, and that's often how the greats are defined. You know, Maybe. Maradona wins a World Cup, Pele wins a World Cup, but Messi hasn't. Yeah, but he did win Copa America. That's true, but Copa America's not even on the same ballpark no, as so. a World Cup. As a World Cup, what do you think of Giroud? He's France's top scorer in history. Yes, which I think he's incredibly underrated. Which is why I'm asking the question. If you look at his stats, they're pretty much up there with Harry Kane, but people would think, oh, Harry Kane's miles better as a striker. He's not. He really isn't. He's got, he's got you know, more popularity, but, but uh, Giroud has been one of the stand-up players of the World Cup, keeps on scoring, and of course, he's got such a great team around him who keep providing for him. Um, I, I think the big issue is Argentina, they're, they're not a one-man team, because Alvarez has been really good as well. And I think McAllister's a decent player, but Messi, if you keep Messi quiet, you keep Argentina quiet. Whereas France got so many dangerous players. You've got Giroud, um, obviously you've got Mbappe, um, Griezmann. I mean, it was Griezmann who supplied the cross against England that Giroud headed. Um, Griezmann's not even a winger, but he's just a talented, talented player. 
and they've got talent everywhere. I mean, Chua Many, I mean, that goal that he scored against England was phenomenal, wasn't it? So, and a solid defence. Varane. Varane. Yeah. Uh, is Varane, do you think, he's probably a player who plays better for France than he plays for Man United. But Undoubtedly, yes. They hardly concede many goals, and I think Messi would find it much easier to get past a Croatian defence, a tired Croatian defence, than this French defence. I mean, if Messi is player of the match against France, that would be some achievement, because France are good all over the pitch. Yeah, they are They are very good. So where do you think the match will be won and lost then? then? Uh, one by France, 2-1. Okay. Mbappe and Giroud. Mbappe, so you think they're more clinical, French are more clinical? Yeah, they score more goals, Mbappe's faster than okay. most players on to be honest, I'd agree. I mean, I want Argentina to win for the Messi story to be complete. Um, but I do think France have a better overall team, a more solid team. If more solid defensively, actually, as well. But if Argentina win, it'll be on penalties. On penalties? Do you think it'll go to penalties? Wouldn't that be amazing? World Cup final going to penalties. Messi takes imagine, the last kick. Yeah, imagine if Messi missed the last kick. That would just be... You could just see that kind of thing happening in a World Cup. Yeah. Some of the greatest players ever have missed big penalties in knockout tournaments. But yeah. Anyway, so you're predicting 2-1... France. 2-1 France. I am predicting 3-1 France. I think they'll go 2-1 ahead... Argentina will try and press, and France will catch them on the break. Mbappe's speed is one of the big issues. That's one where Mbappe would be ahead of Messi. Um, Mbappe's probably the fastest player, one of the fastest players in the world. And once he gets going, he's unstoppable, and he may just wait for this final. Because he knows he's up against Messi. This is the time for him to shine and to prove himself as the greatest player in the world. So let's see. France, Argentina, 3 o'clock tomorrow. It's not the 7 o'clock game, it's the 3 o'clock game. Yeah. Um, and then we will know whether France have won back-to-back -back World Cups or Messi lifts the trophy. Nice to speak to you, Dan. Have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.